So in this video, we are again going to talk about the bitwise operators in the C programming language. So this time around, we are not going to talk about the definitions and the explanation or truth tables, rather we are going to simply work in the C code. So let's simply create two operands for our operators to work on. We are going to create operands of the integer data type and we are going to call them A and integer B. Now let's give it A a value of 7 and let's give B a value of 5. Now we know that bitwise operator work on individual bits. So let me write down the bits of A which are going to be 0, 1, 1, 1 and let me write down the bits of B which are going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. By the way that's like 7 and 5 in the binary language. So let's talk about the first operator which is the AND operator. So let me write AND over here. So the thing is that AND operator returns true or copies a bit only when the bit is present in both of the operands. So if you look over here, let's start from the left hand side. So it's 0 and 0, so we'll get 0. And then it's 1 and 1 present in both numbers, then we'll get 1. And then it's 1 and 0 present in only 1, we'll get 0. And then again it's 1 and 1 present in both numbers, we'll get 1. So the result should be 5. So let's try doing that. So let's do print f and then simply do percentage %d and then write a and b. So I'm going to save this code and execute it and we should get the result value of 5 and there you go the result is as 5. So now let's do the OR operator. Now we know that the OR operator returns or copies a bit when any one of the operands bit is true. So 0 and 0 we get 0, 1 and 1 we get 1, 1 and 0 in one of the operands the bit is on so we get 1 and then again 1 and 1 we get 1. So this should result in 7. So let me just change this operator to so let me just re-execute this program. We should get the output as 7 and there you go our output is 7. Next up the list we have the ZOR operator. Now the ZOR operator only copies the bit if both of the bits in both of the operands are in opposite state. So 0 0 we get 0, 1 and 1 same state we get 0, 1 and 0 opposite state we get 1, 1 and 1 same state we get 0. Now double zero one zero is equivalent to 2. So let's test it out. Let's put a ZOR B and let's execute this program, we should see 2 on the terminal, just like that. Now let's talk about something which is the tilde symbol. And let's only take one operand which is A. So the tilde symbol actually just flips the bits of the operand on it's working on. So this would become 1 0 0 0. Now rather than becoming negative 7, this is equivalent to 8. So why would we get the result or how would we get the result negative 7? Well the thing is that when you're playing with one's complement, there is a hidden bit over here which is known as this sign bit. This changes to 1 which would mean that okay this number is now negative. After that, whenever you take the one's complement of a number, you need to subtract 1 from it. So in this case we would get 7. So now let's simply get the result value of tilde of a which is the simple one's complement. Now we know that it should result in negative 8. So let me just clear my terminal and re-execute this program. And there you go, the result is negative 8. So now let's talk about the right or left bitwise shift. So let's first do the left shift by one bit. So all of these bit move one step to the left. So it becomes 1, 1, 1 and 0. Now this is equivalent to 14 in the decimal number system. So if I change this tilde symbol to a less than less than 1, I should see on my screen the value of 14. Next up we have the right shift. So let's try shifting the bits to the right by one point. So when I shift these bits to the right, I get double zero, one, one, and then there's also one bit left, which is one, and this gets discarded. So I'm left with double zero, double one. Now this double zero, double one is equivalent to three in the decimal number system. So if I save this program and execute it, I should see on my screen the value of three. So those were the bitwise operators in the C programming language.